was that we recommend to Council to agree to the rebuilding of the changing facilities and toilet blocks on the site. I agree that the Council offers, um, offices proceed with detailed design, building consent and construction of the changing facilities and toilet, including incorporation of artistic features where possible, and that the Council offices pro provide regular update, progress updates to the Hagley Ferrymead Community Board, including on insurance. Excellent. Would someone like to move that? Yanni Johansson, seconded Paul Lonsdale. Discussion? Thank you. Um, so unlike the previous deputation, this is actually one of the best insured facilities in, that we have as a council. Um, the toilets were insured for 574000 um, and actually the cost of the estimated cost of replacing is 365000 um, But one thing that we asked as a community board, there was actually a mural that was on the side of it that we had funded and we felt that although the designs are, um, you know, uh, modern and, and, and um, you know, quite stunning, it's just that we felt that there really needed to be a, a consideration around the artistic incorporation of artistic features and elements. Um, and we also felt that, you know, in terms of the insurance, we, we wanted staff to ensure that we were um, given that we had invested as a community board in those murals and the, the artistic features of those buildings, um, that that should be something that could be covered through the insurance um, settlement. So I just think it's really important to emphasise and highlight that fact that this will be a new modern building, although I understand the clock has been saved from the old building mm -hmm. and is incorporated into the new design, which I think is quite a quite a nice thing to, to note. Yep. Okay. Uh, Yanni, as part of the next year's street art festival, uh, where murals are painted this year only in the central city, but next year it will be bigger, that this perhaps be incorporated into that? A few. They are, they are reputable international oh. painters. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'll just respond yep. to that. Yep. The, the exterior of the building, it may not well be actually a painting on the wall, it may be actually an incorporation of, uh, of uh, the exterior. So maybe something like an aggregate type uh, finish, which yeah. creates More a, a different look because of the style create, of the building, yeah. so uh, sort of pointed out. So, so I think the, the important thing though was um, actually there's some fantastic toilets in Taylor's Mistake where we have used some artistic elements and what, what the community board was really um, concerned about was that as part of the insurance settlement that we were ensuring that we were getting uh, the money that we're properly entitled to to ensure that those artistic elements went back as part of that, given mm -hmm. that we had spent money um, you know, not not a small sum in the past on this building, and that didn't come through, didn't quite come through in the in the designs. David East. Thank you. Yeah, look, I support this um, report as well, and, and echo the comments from Yanni and, and Paul. I also note that um, there's a comment under 3.7 in the report about the coastal pathway, and given some of the. Uh, Sorry, we're dealing with this. Particular matter. Yeah, oh, it is. is Sorry. It? Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Uh, and it, it, in the coastal pathway and its yep. construction, and in relation to the um, surf club building and the toilet facility, and given some of the controversy and other parts of the of the pathway, that they give some uh, real concern when when that pathway is being designed around the toilet and the surf club and that the activities of the surf club aren't impinged in any manner by the location of the, the pathway. Um, I just noted a while back when we did have a deputation a few weeks back with the Mount Pleasant Yacht Club and I could see similar uh, scenarios arising. So just drawing attention that I think some concern needs to be given to the um, coastal pathway design in both areas giving um, adequate uh, recognition of all the activities in, in both areas. Yeah, I think, Sarah, your, your comments are here are, are, are essentially that that's been um, well integrated into the proposal. The coastal pathway, as it runs through that area, um, has had no adverse comments from the Life um, Saving Club. Yeah, yeah, great. All right, I'll put the motion. Will those in favour say aye? aye. Those opposed say no. Carried. That's very good. Now, if, if there are any other matters that you wanted no, to... No, the, the, the other matters from those particular meetings were dealt with at the last council meeting. They were the um, coastal pathway and main road and things like that. So That's great. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right. No, thank you very much. Uh, so would someone like to move the report as a whole be received? Um,
Paul Lonsdale, Yanni Johansson, uh, the two reports, sorry, of the two meetings. Um, I'll put the motion, uh, so we can we make that the, the 12th of June and the 19th of June, the two, the two meetings. March. Oh, March, sorry, yeah. Um, That's okay, and I'll I'll put the I'll put the um, mo motion. All those in favour say aye. Those opposed say no. That's carried. Thank you very much. So um, the next 